Hello, welcome to Kojil University Unmanned Aircraft Technology Team's Flight Readiness Review. Our team is participating for the first time in Outsource of Us this year and has been working on the project since July 2017. Let's start with the team introduction. The general design of our UAV consists of three main parts, the fuselage, wings and a conventional type tail. An electric brushless motor is connected in the front of fuselage and contains a tricycle landing gear, one in the front and two on the back. The gimbal is connected to the back of the fuselage behind the two back tires. The aircraft is 2 meters in length and 3 meters in width. The main purpose of the design is to use the fuselage as a lifting body. The wings have been selected according to the weight of the aircraft. The total weight of the aircraft was estimated approximately as 9 kilograms. The center of mass of the aircraft has been determined by estimating the weight of electronic devices and other components. The internal structure of the wings, that is, the skeleton, contains birchwood ribs that helps in stability. Birchwood is a high strength material perfectly suitable for the designs like ours. Another kind of wood we use is balsa. It is a soft and light low strength material. The purpose of usage was to get a fine structure and weightless property. We can say that total design consists of balsa and birchwood. But just wood wasn't enough to make a stable and high strength aircraft. We strengthened the whole structure by using spars. These high strength composite spars give strength to our structure with weightless properties. There are three spars, leading edge spar, trailing edge spar, middle spar in the wing design. The diameter of the spars are 6mm and one 22mm pipe is fixed inside the wing structure and are connected with a 20 mm pipe with each other passing through the fuselage. The same methodology is used in tail design. The conventional tail is connected with the fuselage with 30 mm carbon fiber pipe. There are two main plates inside the fuselage made of birch wood. These plates help in stability as well as to hold the electronic devices in their places. The surfaces are covered with the fiberglass sheet to get a smooth, fine structure. The main power supply for the avionic system is 9000 mAh for its battery placed at the fuselage. And for brushless motor, we use 16000 mAh 6S battery placed at the front behind the main motor. The flight controller is connected with the ground station with the help of 9 MHz analog modem. Imaging system works with 5.8 GHz modem. FPV camera is connected with 5.8 GHz 32 channels antenna to the ground station. The task given will be first detected by interoperability server communication module, then sent to the real-time routing module that defines the suitable route for the task including the obstacle avoidance, takeoff and landing requirements. The route is then uploaded to the PIXOC, the main flight controller with the help of RFD900X, and the aircraft starts the task. 
After the waypoints and obstacles, the flight starts the object detection and image processing and collects the required data and finishes the task. For the software development, open CV libraries have been used as the main source. Autonomous flights attempted medium confidence. Manual flights attempted high confidence. Obstacle avoidance attempted medium confidence. Object detection and classification attempted medium confidence. Object localization attempted low confidence. Air delivery not attempted. There are a number of tests performed in order to make the aircraft work properly. Tensile strength test. The structure of aircraft has been tested by loading static loads. We conducted the test by loading the sandbags on the wings of the aircraft by vertex lattice method with a maximum load of 2G. Devices on ground test. Devices were tested several times before putting in their places. These tests were made in order to place the devices correctly and in properly working condition in the aircraft. Autonomous flights and obstacle avoidance. The total number of conducted autonomous flights are 7 with the total flight of 2 hours. Number of waypoints in each flight were 5 and obstacles were 3 with the total number of 35 waypoints and 21 obstacles out of which 29 waypoints were captured and 17 obstacles were avoided with an approximate success of 80% Manual flights The total number of flights conducted are 12 with the total flight time of 6 hours during which images were taken and tested the wireless communication modules of the aircraft with the ground station The test flights are ongoing in order to improve the flight quality, train the team and decrease the mission time. We are expecting a good overall performance in the competition. Imaging performance. Several flights were made with the purpose of image processing, were mostly manual as those were convenient, but some autonomous flights were also conducted. The images were taken while these tests. Here you can see some of the images taken from different altitudes. We can get the best results for the images till the altitude of 150 feet. About this height, the camera starts zooming on the objects which decrease the quality of images. We are confident doing it autonomously in competition also. Detection and classification. The images taken from the camera of our region of interest are first tested through our algorithms. Then it classifies them into shapes, characters and colors. Air delivery. Due to complicated calculations and algorithms and lack of experience, we will not be attempting air delivery. Full mission tests. After the team captain's briefing about the mission, we divided a full mission into three parts. To calculate the exact time of each task performed to train our competition team within the allowed time. During this test, some of our team members were acting judges to score the actions performed. Several tests were performed and still working on these tasks. For all the flights, we made the flight data sheets in order to keep track of the records of our tasks performed. Following are the three stages of tests we performed. Number 1. Assembly and Tuning Stage the team was allowed 10 minutes to assemble and tune the aircraft and make it ready for the mission. During this time, team assembled the flight, put it all the electronic devices in their places, checked the geolocation and tested the wireless communication. Number 2. Autonomous Flight Stage Waypoints and obstacles were set and after taking off the aircraft passes through the waypoints, avoiding the obstacles and finishes the task. The algorithms were updated accordingly for the unsuccessful attempts. For the last three flights, the success rate was 95%. The average time for a mission to complete it was 16 minutes. The test flights are still ongoing and we are planning to decrease the time to 13 to 14 minutes. Number 3. Landing Test Stage After the landing of aircraft, the team quickly started the disassembly and time set was 7 minutes. Estimated score of mission testing. Here are our estimated score from the full mission tests we performed. Autonomous flight tests 79%. Manual flight tests 
100%, waypoints test 82%, obstacle avoidance 81%, imaging performance 75%, detection and classification 70%, localization 35%, air delivery not attempted.